All right, YouTube, I have figured out how to use my Google Home to pause or play my Kodi TV. I have a computer hooked up to this TV. It's mounted on the back side. Don't worry too much about it. Um, going to get straight into it. I don't know a ton about programming, so this is kind of just spliced together. I'll show you what I've done in If This Then That or IFTTT. Um, I'll show you what Cody looks like and I'll show you anything else you need on the screen here. So you see I've got something up here paused. Um, I prefer to use the hey command versus the OK command so that my phone doesn't get a false positive. So here we go. Hey Google, pause TV. One sec. Hey Google. Pause TV. One sec. So you see there's about a two second delay there and I have to use the command pause for both play and pause. It's a toggle, it's better than nothing, but it's more just a proof of concept and something I really use every day. Um, thanks for watching. So I'm going to show you how to get your Kodi set up so that you can control it with your Google Home. The first thing I'm going to do is go into the settings and show you what build I'm using. This shouldn't change much, but just in case you can see what, what version I have. So after looking at the version, we're going to jump over within the settings. Everything we need is in services. The first is the web server. As far as I know, you have to have this first one checked. Allow remote control. The port, there's a few ports that are better than others. 80 or 8080 is best, don't ask me why. Username and password. You'll need to remember those for later. After that, you'll go down to the remote control setting. So in the remote control setting, I've turned on both of these options, allow remote control by programs on the system and programs on other systems. So now that we've got the Kodi set up properly, the last place we need to go is if this then that. I've got my applet set up already so I'm just gonna scroll down and open it here. I've got three prompts that can make this work. One is to say TV pause or pause TV or TV play. I have her say one sec which is kind of annoying I need to change that. Unfortunately you can't tell it to play TV because that's a reserved command within the Google Home ecosystem. So now you get to see the part that if this then that feeds to the TV. So this address doesn't look like anything else you'd ever see on the internet. The first part we've got is the username, Cody, which we had a few seconds ago. The password, which I'm not going to tell you my password because I don't want you controlling my system. Um, and then this part's especially tricky. Most people aren't paying for a static IP address. Your IP address theoretically could change if whoever you get your internet from resets your connection. Realistically, it very, very, very rarely changes. I've set this up using just my regular dynamic IP address. So let's go look and see how you can get what your IP address is. I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to start typing, what is my IP address? So I copied the IP address from literally Googling what is my IP address, and that's what I pasted in for the IP address field there. I hit save, and now everything should work. 